everyone what's up and welcome back to another video my name is Jordan if you are new here thank you for joining us today I'm sitting down and I'm gonna be answering all of your burning questions about my upcoming contract if you are confused I will have previous videos linked below that explain what I'm talking about but long story short I am returning to work I work on a cruise ship and I'm so excited to get back to work I have been out of work for over a year obviously because COVID has impacted my industry very very heavily but the time has come for me to finally return and I could not be more thrilled before we hop into this video I want to quickly thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring a portion of today's video if you are not familiar with Ana Luisa I have talked about it many Many, many many times on my channel I love their jewelry I love the meaning behind their jewelry I am a ride or die Ana Luisa stan I have so many pieces from them they are amazing quality they're affordable and they are sustainable so not only do they offset all carbon emissions for all their products and all their shipments and they really make a conscious effort to help eliminate excessive waste so this gold chain I'm wearing is from Ana Luisa as well as this beautiful ring I'm wearing I will have them both linked below if you are interested and you want to match with me Anna Luisa is also currently running a campaign that is focused on empowering women and something that really empowers me and inspires me is my career I could not be more grateful for the job that I have and to be able to do something that I love for a living so this campaign is really meaningful to me and something that I hold near and dear to my heart because my job is what empowers me and I think it's really important to reflect on what empowers you and what makes you feel strong and confident as a woman so once again a big thank you to Ana Luisa I will have all the links down below if you guys are interested as well as a discount code so you can get some money off your next order with all of that being said if you are not already make sure to hit the subscribe button follow my socials if you want to keep up with me on a daily basis and without further ado let's get on into today's Q&A I'm going to start off with my most frequently asked question and I understand y'all want to know so a bunch of you asked what ship I will be returning to obviously I have not announced this in any of my previous prep vlogs but I will be joining the Adventure of the Seas so as you may or may not know I work for Royal Caribbean so I am still working within the same company but I will be joining a different ship my previous contract I was on the Allure of the Seas had the best time ever and now I will be joining Adventure and I'm so excited because not only is this a different class ship it's going to be a different cast and all different crew members so I have the opportunity to make so many more friendships and connections and you know all around just have a new experience and I am so excited my second most frequently asked question was when do I leave slash when do I start so currently I am home but I do leave very very soon from the day I'm filming this by the time this goes live I will already be on my way and in the process of quarantining so the actual day I leave is April 25th 2021 but I am not signing on the ship right away. I have to fly to St. Martin and quarantine there for a few days while I wait for my PCR results to come back negative. And then once I get those results, I will be signing on board and I will be entering two week quarantine right from the get go. And I will be put into a cabin by myself. I will be learning the show via Zoom on the floor with the rest of my cast. And then once we are out of quarantine, we will be rehearsing as normal a lot of you also asked when do I end how long is the contract things like that so as of right now the contract is scheduled to end in mid-February so it's about a eight to nine month contract it's quite long but I have been away from work for so long so I do not at all mind being away for that many months it is also subject to change it could be shortened by a few weeks here or there but yeah as of right now I have signed to work until February where is the ship going to be based and what are the itineraries so the home port for this contract is Nassau Bahamas so previously my home port was Port Everglades so I was in Florida every Sunday for turnaround day so this contract will be a little different I believe turnaround day is on Saturday and we will be in the Bahamas which is 
not too shabby. As far as the itinerary goes, I don't know exactly. I do know we will be based in the Caribbean. I love the sunshine, you guys know. I do not belong in upstate New York. I thrive in warm weather, so I cannot wait to catch some rays. What is a cruise line doing to prevent the spread of COVID-19? Since the cruise industry has been on pause for so long, they've had a ton of time to prepare on how to healthily return to service. So there is so, so, so much I could say. Um, I could do like a separate video about this if that's something you guys are interested in. But the biggest change once cruises resume is that all crew members and all guests must be vaccinated. So you must have the COVID-19 vaccine. As a crew member, we also are required to have the flu shot. Um, before this wasn't mandatory, now it is. We also are required to wear face masks, maintain social distancing, all things that are already implemented into our everyday life now. Additionally, they have gotten rid of self-serve buffets, so you will no longer be able to just walk up and grab a plate of french fries, sadly. But of course, this is going to help prevent the spread of germs. Crew life will also be a lot different. I'm not sure yet if I have a roommate or if I'm going to be rooming alone. We will just have to stay tuned until I arrive on the ship. But as far as any indoor activities or indoor lounge spaces like the crew bar, stuff like that, everything is going to be socially distanced, spread out, and large crowds are not at all permitted. So things are definitely gonna look a lot different than the last time I was on board, but regardless, I am so excited. Do you have training on makeup for the show on the ship? No, we do not. I think that would be really fun, um, but you are kind of expected to know what to do when it comes to makeup. We don't have makeup artists that do makeup for us. We get to do it ourselves, which honestly I really enjoy. I think it's fun and sometimes you could switch up the eyeshadow look and you know, get creative with it, but the standard look is false eyelashes and red lipstick. So my favorite red lipstick to use for shows is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick, and I think the color is Missy and Fierce. It's like $4 from the drugstore, and it's a liquid lipstick, so it stays on your lips when you eat and drink. When you're performing, it won't get on your teeth, and um, it also does not dry out your lips. So. That's like one of my all-time favorite lip products, um, and that's my go-to for eye shows. Do you guys ever get free days to explore the countries you're traveling to? Yes, we do. It really depends on what your position is on board, and I will say I am so, so grateful that the position I have offers a lot of time off, so I can really, you know, soak in the experience and enjoy port days. There are never any shows going on when we are in port, which means I don't have to work. So because the majority of the guests get off to see what the port has to offer, I can also do the same. But as long as I don't have any other side jobs or anything else going on, I am free to get off and enjoy the port. How will you balance your work, YouTube, and making time to also have a social life? Time management and I are besties. I've always had a crazy schedule my entire life since I was really, really young, so I'm not too concerned about it. The only issue that I'm going to run into is uploading twice a week only because of the lack of Wi-Fi. I don't have Wi-Fi on board, I have to pay for it, so I have to just make sure that I can upload in advance when we are in a port and make sure that it goes live at least twice a week. Last contract I was decently consistent but I didn't have an upload schedule like I do now so I'm going to try my best to stick to my schedule. If not I might have to adjust slightly but I usually edit at night if there's nothing going on and I'm just laying low in my cabin and sometimes I also do it in the morning so I'm feeling pretty confident that I will be able to balance everything accordingly and stay sane. <laughs> Will you get on the ship a few weeks before guests come to learn the shows? Absolutely. Usually we have two weeks to rehearse and learn the show and perfect it and then open, but obviously things are different, very, very different now because we are the first ship going back. So like I said a little bit earlier, I am going to be quarantining for two weeks on board before we even start rehearsals. We'll be doing rehearsals on Zoom, and then once we are out of quarantine, we will be rehearsing for a few weeks. The guests don't even come on board for the first cruise back until June, so we will have 
quite a few weeks on board before guests join us. Is the ice show the same as your last contract? It is not. It's an entirely different show, which is exciting. I obviously love ice games so, so much, and if I get to do it again, I would be thrilled. But it's always fun to learn a new show and to have a new track. I'm excited to find out what my solo is and also all new costumes. I mean, who doesn't love that? So it's an entirely new show, entirely new cast, entirely new costumes. What about ship life do you love the most slash hate the most? I think the thing I love the most is that it has brought some of my best friends into my life and it gives me the opportunity to build really strong connections and friendships with people from all over the world. There is seriously nothing like it and if you are even considering possibly working for a cruise ship, I would say 100% full send. Do it, you will not regret it. And then I don't think there's anything I truly hate about working on a cruise ship, but the thing I probably dislike the most is the level of responsibility I am given as a crew member because the safety of the guests is in my hands and every other crew member. So we are responsible for getting the guests and ourselves to safety if there was an emergency on board. It is definitely stressful and it can be a bit overwhelming at times because you do have to be on alert 24-7, but you do get used to it and I mean, as long as you know what you're doing for your emergency number, you should be absolutely fine. Are you going to have to perform in masks? I do not believe we will have to. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I do not think so. Will you be able to roam around the ship like before or will there be strict restrictions? I apologize in advance. I feel like some of these questions I can't 100% say with certainty, but I do have a good grasp of what it's going to be like. And I do think that I will be able to roam crew areas as I did before. I do think we will have to wear masks if we are, you know, up and walking but we also will be vaccinated, so it'll be interesting to see what it's like. As far as guest areas, I know we will 100% have to be wearing our masks unless we are seated and socially distant from everyone else. Is your roommate in the ice cast? Sadly, Jackie is not on this contract with me, which is such a bummer because obviously you know how close I am with her and we would just have the best time. But I mean, we're still young, so chances of us having another contract together are looking pretty good. Will you be able to get off at ports with the pandemic still upon us? Once again, not 100% sure, but I did find out that Quantum that has been sailing since December, I wanna say, the crew members finally got shore leave, so I think initially we might not be able to get off, but because we will be vaccinated, I think that it's looking quite likely we will be able to get off at ports. But again, I guess we will just go with the flow and see what happens because honestly, I don't know for sure. How long do you sign for when you work on a cruise line and how are the cabins for staff? So every contract varies as far as duration. This upcoming one is going to be almost nine months. My last one was six and a half. Um, some can be four, some can be five. It also does depend on what position you are and what ship you are on. And then as far as the cabins go, most of the crew members are in a double cabin, so you share it with one other person. They are bunk beds, the beds are I think twin size um, and the room is pretty tight I'm not gonna lie it's pretty small but I mean you're not in the room majority of the time anyways your cabin also depends on your position and what privileges you have how did you find out about skating performances on cruise ships and how did you audition I found out about ice shows on cruise ships from my coaches they are the best they have taught me everything I know and they are to thank for my success alongside my mom, who is also my coach, but they were the ones that really pushed me to apply for cruise ships. I can go in depth about this and do an entirely separate video, but to make it short, I sent in a paper resume with my skating accomplishments along with a show reel, so some of my best tricks 
jumps, spins, spirals, skating skills, things like that. Put that over some music and sent that in to my boss. For the cruise ships, there wasn't any in-person auditions. It was all virtual. I just sent the email and then I had a phone interview, but you don't have to fly anywhere to audition in person. Do you have a bad leg in skating? If so, what do you do to try to improve it? So my dominant side is my left side. So my left leg is my landing foot. I'm a lefty jumper and spinner. So yes, I think naturally everyone always has a stronger side, but it is so unbelievably important to have balanced muscles. You don't want one side to be way stronger than another side because that is when injuries happen. So you want to make sure that not only your left side and your right side are pretty evenly matched, but also the front of your body and the back are also evenly matched as far as strength. Obviously one side is going to be a little bit stronger than the other so what I do to try and even it out is I try to do the same amount of reps and the same amount of weight on both sides of my body. If you have braces and need to make monthly adjustments, is that included in the health insurance? It is not included. You have to pay that out of pocket or with your own insurance. You do get dental insurance when you work on board. I don't know a lot about it because I've never actually went to the dentist when I was working on Allure, but I do know that braces are not included in that insurance. Do they pay weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly? I get paid bi-weekly, so every two weeks I receive paycheck. Is it a flat salary or are you paid by what shows you perform or extra duties like lighting for other productions? So I am paid on salary and those other jobs like lighting and all skates, those are already included into the contract. So those are already duties that I have to fill. Um, if I was to get like another side job that wasn't within my contract, that payment would just be separate. Are you allowed sick leave or injury leave? or are you docked for any missed performances? If I was sick for a day or injured for a day or two and I had to miss a show, I wouldn't have to sign off. If I was to get injured for an extended amount of time, I would have to sign off. And depending on how long the contract is and how long I will be out for, I could always return once I am healthy. As far as injury pay, we do get a percentage of our salary. I'm not sure whether or not I can disclose this information, um, but yes, that is in our contract. Is there any built-in guarantee for this particular contract in case of unforeseen circumstances of a shipboard COVID outbreak? So, like I said before, there is so many new procedures and safety guidelines that we have to follow on board. The company has pretty much thought of every possible outcome, so if there was an outbreak on board, there are very set instructions and plans of how we would go about that. I'm in the middle of doing all my online trainings and there's just an overload of information about outbreak prevention and what we would do if someone was to spread COVID on board. How much downtime do you get between performances and scheduled days off? Every contract differs, every ship differs. I don't know about my upcoming contract, what my schedule will look like yet. But on Allure, I had five shows a week and I had quite a bit of time off on the days that I did not have shows. I know you're sometimes required by the company to participate in all skate times for the passengers, but are you also expected to teach coach some of these folks? We are not required to teach anyone how to skate, but if there are guests that are interested in taking lessons, we can do that. That would be a separate fee for the guests and it would have to be organized through my ice captain and the Studio B production manager and a bunch of other people. Did you have an attorney to check over your contract prior to signing? I did not. It's pretty cut and dry, pretty standard. My brother is actually in law school right now, so any questions I have regarding contracts, I usually just ask him. Are you allowed to chill at the pool when you're not working? Past tense, pre-COVID, we were able to use the pools as long as there was five or less guests in the pools. If there was any more, we are not allowed to. At least for my position, again, different positions have different privileges, but we are allowed to use the pool deck and lay in the lounge chairs. 
How do you manage skincare on board? Girl, I definitely struggled a bit last contract because the water is so harsh on your hair and skin. So I got a shower filter for my hair, which was fine. My skin was a totally different story. I actually did break out for quite a bit, which was devastating because I never really dealt with acne, but I figured out a skincare situation and all is well now, so I just bring everything on board, and then on port days or turnaround day, I will stop at like Walgreens or CVS or whatever I can find, like a convenience store or a drugstore, and restock when needed. Have you ever fell when you were doing a skating show, and what's the funniest costume they made you wear? Definitely have fallen in a show many, many, many times. I have an entire blooper video, um, and then the funniest costume I had to wear was probably Stacy, my seahorse costume for opening on Allure, but I loved that. It was a contraption though, it was made of wires, and then there was fabric over top. I had to literally like climb underneath it and then get clicked in with this like little like cushion that I had to wear around my waist. It was a whole thing. Is the crew training physically demanding and stressful? I would say it definitely can get stressful, especially as a new hire because first of all, you're just kind of thrown into ship life and there's no time to adjust. You just have to adjust at the snap of your fingers. So you're going through all of your trainings and you have a lot of them and there's a lot of information being thrown at you all while you're trying to adjust to a new environment. So you're also training for your job and working your shifts. So yes, it can be stressful because it's it's a lot of work in the first couple weeks, but it's nothing you can't handle and you definitely get the hang of it. And once you are a rehire, it's never as bad because you don't have as many trainings. Okay, and then for my final question, do the skating shows on board ever change or is it always the same show? Or does it depend on what ship you're on? So it does absolutely depend on what ship you are on. Every ship has a different ice show and throughout your contract, your show does not change. So you do the same one or two shows, the duration of your contract. For example, Allure only had one show and this next ship I'm going on to has just one show, but some of the newer ships have two shows. But that is the end of this video. I honestly don't know how long this is going to be because I have been talking forever. I know there are so many questions you guys have and there's so much information to share, but I truly aim to help you guys answer any of the questions you guys have and be as informative as possible. So if you guys want to see a part two and you have more questions for me, I can definitely do that. Just let me know down below. But I really hope you guys got some new insight and have a better understanding of what my next contract will look like. I'm so, so, so excited. I can't wait to bring you guys along. Once again, you can follow my socials if you want to keep up with me on the daily. And finally, thanks once again to Anna Luisa for partnering with me on today's video. I will have all their information in the description box if you are interested and also my coupon code so you can save some money and have a great rest of your day whenever you're watching this and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.